they're good looking. Hey, you ready for a 15 minute booty band cardio workout? Yeah? Well then you've come to the right place. Let's go. Why, hello there. Welcome to my workout. Hey, today's workout, 15 minute booty band cardio. So we are gonna be using the booty band. Now you can get away with not using the booty band for this workout. You'll still get a workout, but not quite as effective without this little guy. So let's get warmed up before we get going. We are gonna do a quick warm up with some lunges and then some squats, and then we're getting right into it. So position those feet right underneath the hips for me. Pretend that you're trying to separate a piece of newspaper. So we're firing up that outer hip muscle. Now push the bum back and lift up off the heels. Beautiful. Move your arms however you feel comfortable. So here's the scoop with today's workout. It's six exercises, three rounds, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds break. Your ass is going to be on fire, baby. You're going to love it. Well, it'll be on fire for a good reason, not because you ate bad Mexican reason. <laughs> Maybe I should rephrase that whole entire sentence. Your ass is going to be really sore. You'll love it. Last four, three, two, one more. One. All right, alternating lunges. When we lunge back, we step back a good degree behind us, lift the arms up, reach up, look up, now the other leg. For those of you that are new to my channel, yes, I am a bit of an idiot, but you know what? I keep it fun. Do you really want one of those boring fitness instructors who just cue you and count? No. You want one of those fitness instructors who can cue you, but who have a lot of fun and you can't count. <laughs> Last four, three, two, one more. One, beautiful, out into that outer hip. I want you to take the toe, turn it in towards the midline of your body, lift the leg out to your side, 10 of these, and then we'll do the other side. Soften your stabilizing leg, leg is going straight out to your side. Good, getting that glute meat, that outer hip fired up. Last two, one, other side. So I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're not, I will make sure you leave this workout in a better mood than when you did push play. Deal? Deal. Last three, two, one. All right, single leg kick. Here we go. Take a leg, kick it up to the hand, take it back, do it again. Eight of these. We're warming up hamstrings and glutes further. Last four, two more. Beautiful. Other side. Let's go. Kick. Kick. Three more. And release. All right, let's get those booty bands on, baby. So we are going to put them on just above the knees. So with booty bands, never put it right over top of a joint, okay? We either work above or below the knee joint, or sometimes around the ankles. Okay, standing up nice and tall. I want you to take your right leg, step out and in, out and in. So when we step out, we're staying fairly upright with the body, stepping out, trying to put all that body weight on that outside leg as we shift. So it's not a toe tap, okay? I want you to physically grind into that outside leg. Good. Good. And then you can add a little bit more of a squat as you get going, but not too deep of a squat. When the timer goes, we are walking out, working in the upper body and core, and then performing four plank jacks. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, don't worry about it there, sister. I'll show you. Time. All right, take a look. We do a walk out. Wrists underneath the shoulders. Then four of these. Four, three, two, one. Then walk back out. All right, join me. Here we go. Walk out. Get in that plank. Now you can jump out or you can tap out for four. Totally up to you. Walk your hands back to your toes. Stand up. Yeah. Let's do it again. Here we go. Four, three, two. Keep those hips down and keep those wrists under the shoulders. Plank is strong, okay? Timer goes, we go into a simple body weight squat. No problem. Now with this plank jack, you guys, really push out with that outer hip muscle. Don't let the knees cave in. 
Time. All right, here we go. Feet shoulder width, okay? So a bit wider. Toes pointed straight ahead. Weight up on that into the ankles. Now push the hips back. Drive up to the heels. Good. Do it again. Do not allow the tubing or your booty band to pull your knees in. So no caving in. We've got the glutes and the outer hip fired up to keep those knees tracking straight ahead. Whew. Good job. Going into a deep lunge version coming up. Hopefully you're not hearing me breathe too much. I positioned the mic about, feels like it's about 10 feet away from my face. <laughs> Squeeze the booty on the way back up. Yeah, come on. Oop. Don't get lazy on me. Time. All right, now keep those feet hip width apart. Step back with your left. Just a good enough stride that you can feel some resistance. Now sink into that front leg, come down and drive up off that back heel. Good. So it's a little tiny lunge stride and then sinking straight down. Get a little bit more into quads. We really got to fire up the quad on this back leg because as we lunge, that booty band's pulling that back leg towards us and this quad say, no way, man, I'm staying right here. So if that back thigh is burning, good, it's supposed to be. You're right where I want you. Timer goes, right leg back, same thing. Whew. Time. All right, so keep the feet hip width, okay? So don't bring them close, hip width. Step back with the right. Here we go, now drive straight down, and then drive up. So I'm still keeping this front knee, my left knee behind my toe box. It's not jutting past. I'm still placing all my weight onto that front ankle. Whew. Feel that back thigh? Yes, I know, you'll feel the front one too. I know, I know. But the back one, oh baby. Keep going. One more move after this, and then we're taking it into round two. Time. Woo. All right, we got some squat thrusts. So we need to use those outer hip muscles to keep the booty band here. So feet hip width apart. Now give me a deep squat. Hands flat on the ground. Jump back. Come up. Good. Do it again. Now, if you are not a big fan of jumping, what I want you to do is the squats again. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. Always options on my workouts. I leave no woman behind. Almost there, taking it to the top. Remember those step out squats? Oh yeah, how could we forget those, huh? Time. All right, so, whew, good one. So I want you to step out. Remember, equal amount of weight on each leg. Give me a little squat. Good, now pick it up. So we're not emphasizing a deep squat here. The emphasis is bringing the feet apart, really firing up the outer hip. Walk out with four plank jacks coming up. It's a beautiful day where I'm at. We've got a heat wave here in Vancouver, which is highly unusual. Mind you, a heat wave for us is anything, I think, over 25 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Time. All right. So walk out. We're going to jack the feet out or you can tap out. Don't have to jump. Here we go. Bend the knees. Walk out. Wrists under shoulders. Jack. Three, two, one. Good. Bend the knees. Come back up. Constant tension. Keeping the legs apart. Firing up the outer hips. So that booty band stays where it's supposed to be. Right above the knees. Almost there. Lunging it, coming up. 
Or actually, sorry, my bad. Body weight squat coming up. Time. All right. Squatting it out. Okay, so remember, a lot of weight is on the heels. Feet hip width or shoulder width apart. Sit your bum back, drive up. Good. We want a little deeper now than we did when we did the step out. Then squeeze the booty on the way up. Don't get lazy. Give me that extra, what we call hip extension right there. Good. Chest up, head up. Excellent. I know, I'm bossy, aren't I? It's okay. Want to make sure you got the form. Time. All right, keep the feet hip width. Step back. Left leg. Okay, we're still weighted though on that front leg. Knee stays behind the toe box. Drop this back knee. So my back knee is pretty close to my front ankle when I get all the way down. Oh, this is a quad burner. Whew. And then pick up the tempo if your heart rate's not up there. That's how we can get it there, right? Don't lose your form though. I know you would never lose your form. Not you, I know. You're effing awesome. Time. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Keep those feet hip width. Right leg back. Lean back a bit. Weight on that front leg, though. Ready? Go. I tend to film my YouTube workouts around lunchtime. So I tend to always be hungry <laughs> when I'm doing these. Right now, all I'm dreaming about is, hmm, what can I eat after? But I didn't really bring anything. So it's mixed nuts and an apple. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, if you're ever trying to figure out a quick snack and something that doesn't need to be refrigerated, you know what? A small handful of mixed nuts and an apple, awesome snack right there. Perfect. All right, squat thrust. You ready? No, I know. Neither am I, but let's do it anyways. Here we go. Down. If you don't like that jumping, remember, regular squat for me, okay? Now we want the tush down, so we're in a straight plank. Wrist under the shoulders on that plank. Bend the knees to get down there, not your back. Whew, now let's pick it up, sister. Come on, baby. Almost there, taking it from the top one more time. Time. Whew. Good job, good job, don't worry. I know, hips are like, get this band off of me. We're getting there, here we go. Step out, squat. Just a little squat. Do not let those knees cave in. So load up on this outside leg, squat it back, knees tracking straight ahead. Good. Last time doing this fun just stuff. Yeah, so some mixed nuts and apple, that will hold you over. Another favorite snack of mine, which you need refrigerated though, is a hard boiled egg and half an apple. It's good. Carbs, some fat, protein. Beautiful. Dime. All right, walk out, four jacks or four tap outs if you don't like the jump. Ready, set, go. One more walking out. We're lining those wrists right under your shoulders. Bum is down. Tighten up that booty. We need those glutes tight. Body weight squat coming up. Time. 
time. All right. Feet shoulder width apart. Knees and toes pointed straight ahead. Heels back, back on the weight of the heels there. Push back, drive up. Remember that full hip extension. So we're giving a little extra oomph right there. Good. Let's hear it. Oomph. <laughs> oomph. Excellent. Drop down. Thighs parallel to your floor. Be true to the squat. Time. All right, keep those feet hip width. Step back with that left leg. Feel that booty band trying to pull that left leg forward. You root it there. Now drive down, press up. Good. Yeah, do whatever you want with your arms. This bicep curl action is working for me. But hands on hips, that works too. Oh yeah, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Time. Woo. All right, keep those feet hip width. Step that right leg back. Load up on that back leg for me. Okay, ready? Smile, because we're going. Squat thrusts are our final move coming up. Time. Whew. All right. Ready? Ah, oh, come on. We are born for this move. Feet apart. Glutes engaged. Go. Remember, body weight squat if you don't like the jump. Time. Woo wee. All right, let's get this booty band off. Whoa, hey. That feels good. Stay with me for a minute. We need to bring the heart rates down. Woo. All right. Tapping it side to side. We'll grab water in a bit. Let's just get those heart rates down. Last 10 seconds. All right, keep those feet on the ground. Inhale, bring the arms in front, up above. Exhale, float them down. In. One more. And release. All right, we did it. Hey, quick little booty band burn. Okay, a little bit of cardio. We're gonna do a couple of stretches and you're done. Promise. Get in the quad, we're gonna do a quad stretch and then a booty stretch, and then you can continue on your day. So this is a good little workout to do when you are short on time, or you can combine it with perhaps a strength workout or an upper body routine. Release. Or if you're a true masochist, you can combine this with a leg workout. 
This is a good little warm up. Get those glutes ready for a leg workout. Release. Have a seat on your tush. Take the left leg, cross it over the right thigh. Bring that right heel to the bum. Press yourself towards that front shin. Ha! Ah, feel that stretch in that left hip and glute. Breathe into it. So hey, listen, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. What the hell? It's free. Come on. What do you got to lose? Extend this leg in front. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And then if you're looking for something more, I have a workout calendar with your name on it there, sister. What the workout calendar is, is each month I send it out to my members. And it's got the exact workout you should do on each day so that you see the best results. And the results are for this workout calendar is just sort of general toning and strengthening with inches lost. So if you are into that and all over that, then head to my Patreon site. There's a link just below this video and check it out. Good. Now you want a deeper stretch here. Walk that left heel towards your bum. Good job. Release. Extend that right leg. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. And we did it. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. So don't forget, subscribe, leave a comment, and go check out that workout calendar. All right? Let's get you fit and in a program that is going to get you there in the best possible way. Bye. Good job, you.